Press pause and answer the question. So this one's a big hot mess. So we have this numerator of x to the 2 thirds times y times z squared. And we have a denominator of 3x to the 2 thirds, y to the negative 2, and z cubed. And we have that whole thing to the negative 2. So because of this rule here, we can take this whole denominator and we can move it up as long as we change this negative 2 to a positive 2. So we multiply that number, that exponent, by negative 1, and we can move the whole thing up. And now we have something that's a little bit cleaner. And so we still have x to the 2 thirds y z squared, but now we can take this whole mess right in here and we can square it. So it's easy to forget this part. Don't forget to square the 3. I have to be frank, the first two times I ran this problem through, I failed to square the 3. So it's probably a mistake some of you guys might have made also. So you square the 3, that becomes 9. And the x to the 2 thirds, once we square it, we're going to take this 2 and multiply it by 2 thirds, and we get x to the 4 thirds. And this y to the negative 2, we're going to multiply that negative 2 by 2, and we get y to the negative 4th. And then we're going to take this z cubed, and we're going to multiply it by 2, and we're going to get z to the 6th. So now we have to multiply it all out. We'll, we'll take the, the constant here, this 9, and we'll bring it to the front like this. And now we have x to the 2 thirds plus 4 thirds. And 2 thirds plus 4 thirds is 6 thirds, and 6 thirds is 2. So we have 9x squared. Then we have y, and we have a y here that really is essentially y to the 1, and because there's always an implied to the 1 after anything. And then we have a y to the negative 4th down here, so 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So we have y to the negative 3rd. And then for our z terms, we have z squared and we're multiplying it by z to the 6th, so z to the 2 plus 6 equals z to the 8th. Now, because of the format they have it here as one of the answers, they actually pull the y to the negative 3 down underneath so that all of the exponents are clean and positive. So because of this rule here, we can bring this y to the negative 3 down, and we have 9x squared times z to the 8th divided by y cubed, and that's our answer.